What is a demand letter? And what should you know if you receive a demand letter or you're thinking about sending one? These are the questions I'll be addressing today. I'm Aaron Hall, an attorney representing business owners in Minneapolis, Minnesota. You can learn more about me at AaronHall.com and please see the description below for a important disclaimer. All right, what is a demand letter? Quite simply, it's a letter where a party is demanding something. Typically, it's written by an attorney, and typically the letter is demanding a person stop doing something that's illegal or start doing something that they're required to do. For example, I might send a letter on behalf of my client when my another party in a contract is breaching the contract. And the letter would say, on behalf of my client, we demand that you stop breaching the contract. Or, for example, a letter might say, we demand that you stop infringing my client's intellectual property rights. Maybe it's a copyright or a trademark issue. So those are a couple examples of a demand letter. How long is a demand letter? Well, it could be anywhere from one to four pages, I suppose. Typically, mine are between one and three pages. One page is going to be really simple, just saying, look, we demand that you stop doing something, and we're asking them to contact us and try to work things out. It would be three or four pages if we articulate the specific legal reasons why they need to comply with the demand letter. And maybe it's saying, if you don't, here's what we're going to do, and we're going to seek attorney's fees and court costs and breach of contract damages, whatever those uh, details are that we want to communicate in a longer letter. Here are five things to keep in mind with demand letters. A demand letter shows that the sender is serious. If a sender of a demand letter has hired an attorney, they're clearly spending money to protect their rights, and it demonstrates that they're more serious than if they're just emailing or calling and making legal claims themselves. Second, a demand letter is generally seen by the court as a sign of good faith. It demonstrates that the parties are trying to work things out instead of going straight to litigation by suing in court. Third, keep in mind that the wording in a demand letter can be used against you. That's often why it's written by an attorney, because you want to be very careful about what is said in a demand letter. As the old saying goes, whatever you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Fourth, sending a demand letter may save you time and money in the long run. And that's because if you can avoid litigation, which is expensive, stressful, and distracting, a demand letter can help you try to work things out in negotiation. Negotiation is, as a general rule, far less expensive, far quicker, and far less stressful than going to court and trying your case before a judge. A lawsuit often takes months, if not years. Fifth, don't ignore a demand letter. If you ignore a demand letter, you're basically saying to the other side, I'm not going to respond to you and try to work this out. And that often leaves them no choice but to sue you. So by responding timely to a demand letter or having your attorney respond to one, you're able to try to work things out without expensive and stressful litigation. I've written an article on my website at AaronHall.com. You can click the URL in the description below to see that. And uh, if you have questions, check out my website, check out the links below, and you're welcome to subscribe to this channel for other educational videos like this. This video is subject to a disclaimer. Please see that disclaimer below. And thank you for joining me today. I'm Aaron Hall. Learn more at AaronHall.com.